homemade dog food for liver health is something that can be especially important if your pet has been diagnosed with liver disease, but it's also a great option for dogs with other issues such as um, kidney disease or just in general, if you want to add this into your dog's homemade dog food repertoire, um, it's something that will you know add a little boost to the liver every once in a while, hopefully staving off things like liver disease. This recipe has been formulated for liver health, uh, but it's not going to be nutritionally balanced for every dog, so keep that in mind. It's really important. You can click the link below and print this recipe, bring it into your veterinarian or canine nutritionist, and discuss your dog's specific needs with them. If your dog's been diagnosed with liver disease, it's going to depend on the stage of liver disease that he's in, um, what his nutritional needs will be, along with things like his breed, his size, his weight, his activity level. So all of that stuff is gonna factor in um, in this recipe may very well be nutritionally balanced for him, or the expert that you work with may recommend substituting some ingredients, adding some ingredients, uh, maybe adding a multivitamin or some different supplements. So again, it's really important to consult an expert before feeding this recipe to your pet. The first step in putting this homemade dog food for liver health together is to put some of your ingredients in a food processor. I have one cup of cabbage. I've chopped it because it fits in a little bit easier. I also have half a cup of chopped broccoli and two hard boiled eggs. I leave the shells right on. The calcium is great for your dog, but you can certainly peel them if you'd like to. I also have half a cup of Brussels sprouts half a cup of cauliflower, and one cup of kale that I am adding to my food processor. It's getting kind of full, but we still have a few more ingredients. So the last thing that I'm gonna add is one cup of rutabaga and one cup of sweet potato that I have chopped as well. Um, again, you don't have to, but it just makes it fit in easier. If you have a larger food processor, you don't have to chop it. And then we're just gonna put the lid on and we're going to pulse it until everything is all diced and evenly mixed. Now in a medium mixing bowl, I am going to take my veggie and egg mixture out of my food processor. And then I'm gonna add, I have three cans of tuna in water and you don't have to drain them. You can go ahead and add the water that's in there right to your food. And I also have three cans of sardines in water, and you're gonna do the same thing. You don't have to drain them. You can just dump it right in, water and all. Now, if you want more information on these ingredients and why they are so good for the liver, uh, just click the link below the video and it'll take you to my written guide. It talks about the healthy fats and the uh, great vitamins and minerals that are in these ingredients that help aid in liver health. Now that we have everything in the bowl together, we're just gonna go ahead, mix everything so that it's evenly distributed. And as soon as it's mixed, you can feed it to your dog. Um, again, if you click the link below this video, it will take you to my written guide where um, I also have the serving size guidelines there as well as um, the nutritional information. So if you wanna know how much protein, how much fat, uh, how many calories, carbohydrates, all of that stuff, it's in there in the written guide. Um, and you can also easily print the recipe to take it into your veterinarian if you're gonna go in and have a conversation with them or you wanna email it to them or something like that.